Hi, welcome to Bootstrap Algebra Lesson 11, Character Animation. So let's make sure you're set up. Um, you should be logged into Wii Scheme. And um, please go ahead and follow along with the uh, lesson plan at uh, Courses, Algebra, Latest Version. Let's look and see what we did last time. Last time we had a second unit on uh, word problems. We talked about restating the problem, and uh, that's more and more important as uh, word problems get um, a little more involved. We have more to keep track of, and um, we uh, learned about the problem statement uh, a couple of lessons ago. And then in this lesson, we um, looked at this purpose statement organizer, which was that as we're trying to figure out what our purpose statement is going to be, we read the problem multiple times and each time try to answer a question. What the problem's about, what are the quantities involved, and then what is a good purpose statement for this problem. And then we still get a couple of chances to revise the purpose statement as we go through, as we learn more about the problem from trying to um, complete the um, design recipe. This week, we, or this lesson, we get to go back to our game and uh, talk about character animation. So I've got the lesson slides open. Let's look at those. Oops. I don't want to do that. So, um, if you've never thought about animation, it's very interesting. Um, and it used to be um, that you had to draw separate pictures on separate um, cells, they might have been called then, or now we might call them frames. And um, it, when you look at enough frames together, um, uh, then our eyes um, see movement. So it's a trick um, that makes it look like things are moving on the screen. So let's, um, let's actually look at a flip book. If you don't know what a flip book is, you could maybe buy one at a store. You can draw your own. Uh, But a flip book and it's just a little set of drawings. So this one's on a, a post-it note or sticky note. And they've just drawn a balloon going up. Let's look at this one. There's a cloud. There's a scene. So this is like a whole comic drawn on flip books. And you can see the person is just flipping through and it makes it look like motion then that's how all uh, animation works cartoons on TV cartoons and movies um, and it used to be people drew um, specific uh, these specific frames and then um, they would take a picture of it and then they would take a picture of the next one and the next one and the next one and then the film runs through the projector and shows us all of these frames and it looks like things are moving. So now how does that apply to what we're doing? Well, computers can move, uh, change frames really, really fast, way faster than we need to for animation. So what we can do is we draw one picture on the screen or tell the computer, we write a program to draw one picture on the screen. And then we draw another picture on the screen and another picture on the screen. And if we do that fast enough, or if we let the computer do it fast enough, which is no problem for the computer, then uh, it looks like things are moving. And that's exactly how our game works. So at any given moment, we know the X coordinate of target and danger. So if you remember um, uh, on this, this number line, they're doing it for a thousand. But if you remember on our uh, frame in our game, we're doing uh, what 640 on the bottom and 480 up and down. So we know at any given moment, our program knows 
where all of the images are on the screen, and we can write a function to tell the um, to tell the, the computer what to do on the next frame. If we give it a minus, so here's the danger dog. If we say on the next frame, make it x minus 10, then he would go. He would the next frame. He would be a little bit to the left. And if we did it again, he'd be a little bit to the left. And when they do it fast enough, it looks like he's moving. If we told, if we said on the next frame to be a hundred, well then it would look like he was jumping all over the place. He was jumping, and then he would stay because it would just be a hundred. But if we say take wherever you are, which is x, and go minus, then he goes to the left. If we say go plus, then he goes to the right. And this is right on the x coordinate. So let's look at page 36. So this is a um, design recipe for danger and for target. And um, actually, you know that I like to uh, use my program instead of the, um, the paper, but if you'd like to write your um, uh, contracts on the paper and uh, on your design recipe that's completely fine but I'm gonna go and you can if you want to uh, after I get done so watch me now I'm gonna go into my game here's a part of the game that we haven't looked at before we go down they've given us these nice comments to tell us what section of the game we're in and what this section is, is about update danger so here is the contract update danger is going to take in a number and give us back a number does that make any sense to us let's look back here at this slide takes in a number that would probably be our position of where we were right and it gives back a number let's get that number is going to be either um, reduced or increased so yeah that makes sense to me all right, so given the danger's x coordinate, I'll put the next x. Let's go back and look again. So I'm given an x coordinate, and I'm going to give back the next x, which is going to have the illusion of updating the, well, it's going to update the danger's position and going to have the illusion of movement. Okay. And then update target. So we have to. So what do they ask us to do? Um, and uh, we won't do it this way. I will do update danger, and then you can do update target. And that's our last one. All right. And the word problem is design a function which takes the danger x coordinate produces the next x. Now, here's something that I found confusing about this from the beginning, and this, you know, no, no, no instructions that we get as computer programmers are perfect. Um, is okay. Say I wanted the, the so let's so let's first let's run the game. It's always good practice to see what the current state is, and the current state is I have. If you remember, this is my background and player and danger from a few lessons ago. So there's my player. He's in the middle of forest scene and he's not moving i don't see any dangers anywhere i don't see any targets anywhere nobody else is moving um so if i want the danger to move to the right then i could give back let's see if i do some examples so if my danger was at let's see update danger um take in a hundred in a hundred and if i wanted to move to the right then i would get back um danger plus a hundred but I don't know where he was right so it's, I'm having a hard time writing my example 
let's see, no, right? It would be 110, right? If I want to move it, say I want to move it in 10 to the right, it'll be 110. Right now, it's 100, right? So because this just gives me back x. But if I want to go to the right, then I could say plus 10. All right, so if I save that, run it. Variable is not defined. Line 40. Oh, sorry. I did that completely wrong. How do we plus 10? We say plus x, 10. And I still need another paren. That's better. Save. Run. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. So let's see if my danger, let's make sure my danger was the triangle and target is the circle. That's interesting. Let's run that again. Now that time I don't see the circle, which in fact I didn't. The circle should be zero, right? So that made him move to the right. So in that case, I can say, now I can write some examples. If I want to keep you moving to the right, then I want to say example, update, danger, uh, 50, and he would want back a 60, right? Let's do another one. And let's see if he is zero. I usually start with zero. I don't know why I didn't start with zero. We get 10. Let's save. Let's run. There he comes. All right. Let's see if we can make him go uh, super fast. Let's, let's actually, and, and also we'll see what happens if we don't update our examples, but we do update this guy. So let's make him go like three times faster, 30. So he's moving faster, but he did get examples failed. So I have to keep my dangers in line with my um, number here. And if you remember how we can do that, we can use a constant. You learned about that. So, and let's we'll put it in this section. We can think later if we want to move our constants together up somewhere higher. But what can I call the constant that tells it how fast he's going? How about speed? Define speed 10. So now I definitely can put speed here. But I guess I need to do plus um, 50 speed to make it match. And here, uh, one cool thing about Wii's game, I like these to line up. So I can just make a space. Spaces don't matter. Or don't matter to them, don't matter to me. And zero speed. So now I should get a speed of 10. And it'll change it everywhere that it's used. So I'm going to say. So no errors from my test. He's moving across. That's good. Um, but what if I wanted to have. So now your assignment is going to be to update target. As we saw in Ninja Cat, target and danger move in opposite direct Or they move at different speeds. So. Let's do what we call refactoring. Let's change, and we have good tests, so that makes it easy to refactor. Instead of just speed, let's make this danger speed. And then we'll change it everywhere. What if we forgot to change it? Let's see what happens. We get an error, right? Because we don't know who speed is. So danger speed, danger speed, danger speed, danger speed. Now we can test. No errors. He's moving. Good.
And now it's up to you to um, your assignment uh, for next time. And you can keep playing with this. Uh, you can see what happens if you can make, can you make it go right to left instead of left to right? Um, so up so so in your code, change your da do your danger um, update danger function and do your update target function um, to make your dangers move and your target move uh, right to left or left to right uh, according to these word problems you find here. Let's go. So this was the last slide. Let's go to our lesson goal. And we looked about how we talked about how animation worked. There is a cool um, example here if you want to do that in your classroom, uh, which is actually uh, drawing on a board or uh, even um, you know laying out some some markers on the floor from zero to one hundred and just to practice with your body actually moving one direction toward toward one end to, to toward the thousand or a hundred or 640 um, in a positive direction you move one direction negative direction you move another direction and really feel like what it means to um, actually move around on the coordinate system so yeah play with um, different speeds you might want to do and if you're wondering, can we get them to move up and down? Well, sure. In that case, we would need, we only have this function only does right now, um, it only takes in one number and gives back another number, and we didn't write it, correct? The update to target, if you look, it's not in here anywhere. It must be part of this teach pack. So it's part of this entire game system. So, we can't actually make an update target that takes two uh, numbers in because that's not you know we didn't write this target we we didn't write this function um, how it works but we can they have given us a place where um, you can actually do something called data structures so this would be uh, you know an advanced topic if you're really interested you don't have to do it to do the ninja cat game but it is a way to take two coordinates, make it something called a position, just like an X and Y coordinate, just like an X and Y position, a, a, just a, um, a point, um, and actually use that to update. And in that case, you have two coordinates you can move on. You can actually make your um, danger or target uh, go uh, up and down uh, and left to right at the same time. So uh, if you really want to, you can click on that link, which was in... The, this blue box at the bottom of the um, character animation and uh, do that. But your assignment for next time is to just get to do your um, update danger and update target to get them moving either left or right across the screen. And um, they can move different directions if they want to. So you know, they don't both have to move left or both have to move right. But when you move, when you uh, run the game, they should both be moving across the screen. See you next time.